Hey, what's up guys? Raj here. I hope you guys are well. Today's video is going to be completely different. I'm going to be talking to you and showing you the men's grooming products that I use. Hopefully some of you guys find this video interesting. It's something different and I thought, um, yeah, I thought it would be worth doing. So I'm going to run through all of the products that I use. Um, some of these are, you know, specific for men, but I think, you know, could be shared. Some of them are don't really have like a gender assigned to them. Um, before I get into all of this, you know, how important is grooming? Is it important? Is it not really important? I think yes and no to an extent. I think it's good to be presentable, look your best, and uh, you feel better. You know, that leads to more confidence. Confidence is one of the most important uh, characteristics, well, you know, traits or characteristics, whatever you, you call it, that anyone can possess. And I definitely think that when you make an effort, um, you know, it, it gives you a, a little spring in your step. You know, it's not important though. Also, at the same time, because I think sometimes in this world, we place too much importance on the way we look. Sometimes it turns into an obsession. You know, if you look constantly looking at yourself in the mirror every five minutes, you know, you think you've got a problem. And um, maybe with the way the media is and, you know, magazines, men's and women's magazines, there's maybe like a pressure for some people. But for me, I don't take it too seriously. But at the same time, I do like um, I do like certain using certain things which you know make me look better and make me feel better. Also, from a hygiene perspective, is pretty important as well. So yes and no. Um, a lot of the products you'll see in here are very um, very natural based. I do prefer using products without chemicals. Some of them, obviously, you can't get away from it completely. I just find they 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 perform better. They smell better. They're more kinder to the skin. A lot of chemical based products heavily based um, I get like dryness and itchiness and red patches and just general like irritation which I don't really like so yeah a lot of the stuff are, are natural based um, yeah and some of these are gonna be what I would describe as essential like you have to have them um, some of them uh, you, you don't have to it's a bonus you know it's nothing you don't have to go out and, and have everything that you're gonna see here so yeah, I'm just gonna get into it now. Um, starting from like hair products, face, shaving products, um, and a few other bits and pieces. If you have any questions about the particular product or anything else, you know, leave a comment down below. So let's just get straight into it. And let's start at the top. Let's start with the hair. So um, this is a brand actually, you're gonna see a few products in here from the same brand, which uh, I, I found out because my dad actually used use this quite a lot and I think it's a great brand this is Aveda and I've got actually quite a big big uh, a liter size shampoo so I'll try and do a close-up this one is called black Malva shampoo there you go um, it says, you know, plant-based shampoo for dark shades. Now, this is a, a brilliant product. Um, I, sh I shampoo my hair maybe twice a week. I once too much product build up builds up in my hair. I like to wash it through. This leaves your hair really soft. It has a great shine to it. A little bit goes a, a long way. It lathers up really well. And Aveda, because obviously this my channel is all about fragrances, uh, Aveda have the best smelling products I've ever smelled. I think they're kind of like based on um, like a, maybe an aromatherapy kind of thing, but again, natural ingredients. Um, yeah, and really good, very, very effective. It's it's a brand, it's one of those brands when it comes to skincare and, and grooming and hair care, whatever, whatever, that it does cost a little bit more than, than the normal products I use, but for me, it's, it's worth it. It's actually, it, a little bit goes a long way. Um, great attention to detail in their products and their packaging Aveda so that's the shampoo like there are uh, conditioners that you can use as well but I choose not to I don't really want to spend my money so that is what I would call an extra I've used conditioners in the past but I'd rather save my money to be honest so with my hair I think you know with a lot of men one big problem is either hair falling out or becoming thinner and it's definitely a problem that I've had over the years but I think it's um, a couple of things I would say. Sometimes you just have to accept it. You can't really do anything about it. But sometimes, um, unless you're going for like, uh, not sur yeah, surgeries or like ex big procedures, um, 
transplants and that kind of thing. But I'm not sure I really want to ever go down that route in, in the future. Right now, you know, I don't really have a big problem, but I do use some products that will help to boost the volume of your product. So Aveda have one, which I've got a sample. I just recently received that called Thickening Tonic, which is actually pretty good. I use like Indian based, um, like Ayurvedic based products. So whenever I go to India, um, I like to pick up these types of products. These, this one is actually probably on the pricier side. It's called, from a brand called Forest Essentials. Yeah, and it's basically, a, um, Ayurveda is basically, you don't know, it's a very old, thousands of years old, uh, ancient um, Indian kind of philosophy, actually. It's about your way of life um, in terms of your diet, exercise, uh, products that you use to help um, alleviate certain skin problems or, you know, certain issues you have. And this is great. Very, very natural, uh, very dense. I find a lot of these Ayurvedic hair oils can smell quite bad. This forest essential ones is pretty good and actually has really stopped um, my hair sort of falling out. I didn't have a big problem, but you know, sometimes you wake up in the morning um, and there's like hairs on your pillow or you're, you're shampooing your hair or, or, you know, running your hair through your hands and hair falls out. Since I've started using this, you know, I haven't really had a problem. You can use other stuff in your in your hair as well, like coconut oil or different oils. Um, this one is one of those you work into your, really massage it in. You can leave it overnight, or you can then shampoo it out. Okay, so that's the hair. What about uh, grooming? So uh, sort of uh, um, off your hair. So like styling products. So again, I've gone with Aveda. They have a, a men's line. So this is called Aveda Men. Pure Formance Grooming Clay. So you can probably just make it out. Um, this one, uh, with, with Aveda's men's styling products, they are probably the most I've spent on a, on a styling product. I not, I'm not 100% convinced that they're worth it, but I do prefer a styling product which is more natural based. It allows your hair to breathe a little bit more. Um, it gives a really good natural shine to your hair as well. And this is more on the thicker side. It's more on the thicker side. It is almost like a, a slick paste which you really work into your hands and then massage into your skin. Again, amazing aroma. Really on the spicy side. Aveda actually do have a uh, fragrance which I used to have. I, I think I reviewed that fragrance as well. So good product, like works really well. Again, a little bit goes a long way. A little bit too pricey for my liking, but you know, I went with it. All right, so um, moving on now to the face. Now, I have actually, not boasting or anything, but I have received a few comments from people over the years about they do, they, they've noticed like my face has some sort of, it's um, quite clean looking or like a, a nice shine or whatever. And uh, you know, one thing I think with, with skincare, one of the most important things is actually, I would say it's half and half. It's half your products that you use. Um, or shall let, let's let's call let's say one third is the products, one third is your food and your drink, um, meaning like water or are you drinking too much coffee? Are you drinking too much alcohol? And I think the the final third is sleep. You know, I try to get everything in balance. Not always. You know, you don't have to have a perfect life. You know, excess is fine. I think sometimes, but get a good night's sleep, guys. Drink enough water, and that really makes a difference. But I think products also help. Um, so one I picked up actually this and another one you'll see later again from Aveda um, this is a, a purifying gel cleanser so it's basically a face wash so you can probably just about make out the consistency here it is kind of like a gel um, face washes you know I don't wash my face every single day. Some people do. They do it day and night. I don't really feel the need to, to be honest. I, I, I wash my face maybe um, two, a couple of times a week, maybe three times, depending on the weather, depending on what I'm doing, if I'm sweating a lot, um, if I've been outdoors a lot. And, you know, your face is obviously subject to a lot of pollutants, especially here in London. There's a lot of um, air pollution in some places. And, yeah, I think it's good to, like, get rid of that you know, that sort of like um, oiliness that builds up on your skin. But the way I see sometimes like 
face washes marketed towards men it's like you have to do it every single day and your face is at the end of the day your face is full of dirt and grime and oil and i mean it's not really that bad not for me anyway but i think it's good to use a face wash wash now and again one that i would say is a bonus like an extra is a face scrub i don't really feel the need to use a face scrub to be honest it is a bonus i i use this quite infrequently from a brand called um Sukim, I guess. So there you go. Revitalizing face scrub, Australian natural skincare. Um, this has got like bamboo and walnuts and aloe vera, chamomile, all kinds of things. I think a face scrub is pretty good. Um, it does definitely leave a nice shine to your to your skin or like a natural glow. But you know, if I didn't have this product, I could live without it. I actually got this as part of a pack, which was for free. So. Would I buy it? Probably not. I don't really, I'm not that obsessed with my skin that I have to be constantly buffing it and, you know, scrubbing it. But it works, you know, it is a good thing. I think it's, I think it's worth checking out. Okay, so that's the face. I will come on to a couple of things afterwards. I'm going to go into um, shaving in a second. But um, a couple of uh, other things here and there. Uh, teeth. So, yeah, you know, brush your teeth twice a day. It's uh, it's not a... It's not a rocket science. Again, I like to use a natural-based one. I find a lot of the um, sort of more readily available uh, toothpaste you, you'll find in your local supermarket or whatever, they contain a lot of sulfates. I, I don't use sulfates in, in a lot of my products or all of them. I try and stay away from um, synthetic fragrance in my, in my products that irritates my skin. Sulfates dry out my skin. Um, so I use uh, this one by Kingfisher. There you go. So it's got like a list of, uh, I think it's got a list of ingredients and stuff. If you guys know the drink Sambuca, <laughs> it kind of tastes like that. Now I actually really like Sambuca. A lot of people like hate it. It's like a love or hate thing. But uh, this contains fennel, so it's, it's yeah, I mean, it's not exactly like that, but it does give you that effect. Really good. I mean, it's a toothpaste at the end of the day, so I'm not really going to talk too much about that. Uh, one thing I think is really important, and it's only something that I've got into, um, I don't know, like over the past year, which seems a bit strange, but uh, this is a mouthwash. Now, I don't know, I never just, I never, never used a mouthwash until recently. Again, had to go down the na natural route from Jason. This is their cinnamon and clove mouthwash with tea tree oil. This is really strong stuff. I mean, a little goes a long way. You can actually dilute it in a little bit of water in the cap and really like work it around your mouth. I, I probably, you know, work it around my mouth for uh, about a minute or so. It makes a big difference actually. And it really has made an impact on the uh, the color of my teeth. They've, they've become a little bit more whiter. So yeah, I don't know what I was doing, like not using a mouthwash, but pretty good stuff. I don't really like all the Listerines. I think they're, they, they, they burn the mouth, high alcohol content, and it's just a chemical mess, basically. Uh, lip balm. Lip balm is really important. Guys, I don't use any Vaseline products. I don't really see why anybody should be using petroleum-based products. That is not um, really something that is really good for the skin. It's not... I don't know if it's considered bad, but it, it's not very effective. So I prefer using... I mean, this brand has got a bit of a weird name. It's called Crazy Rumors, and it's a lemonade lip balm. Bit, bit weird, I know. I'm using a lemonade lip balm, I know, but it is really effective. You could use something like Burt's Bees, something which has high um, butters like shea butter, um, or maybe like uh, coconut oil-based stuff. This one is it's really, really natural. So yeah, macadamia seed oil, olive oil, um, just like all, all, all pretty much natural really really effective you just apply this once a day and it makes a big impact the lip balm for me is a big thing in the winter other times of the year i'm not too bothered but i do use it every day really good um and uh what should we go on to okay so shaving shaving this is quite a big thing for a lot of men and the way that i shave is a little bit different maybe to some other people i prefer to use uh, the more traditional way which is actually making a bit of a resurgence with um with a lot of people and that is double edge shaving um, with a shaving brush. It's the best way. I used to use Gillette Mac 3s. Um, I used to use uh, electric shaver. 
And then I actually thought, you know what, this is this is terrible. I'm not getting a great shave. It's not comfortable, and it's expensive. Um, not the electric shaver over time, but you don't get a close shave there. So I did a bit of research and took my time to learn a new way of shaving. And my God, this is this is like this is probably the best thing for your face, for your wallet. So let's start off with hardware. Now, when I say hardware, I'm talking about the tools that you use to shave, your razor. This is really important to get a good razor. So when I first um, got into this type of shaving, um, I was reading a lot about this one. This is from the, from Mercure, and this one is called the 34C. So Mercure 34C, and it's a very, very, it's got a bit of a weight to it. And it's a beautiful razor, nice weight to it. Nice um, kind of grip here so you can really hold on to it. And you gotta learn to shave in a different ways, guys. If you're shaving like this, you're moving your, your wrist is moving, that's wrong. You gotta lock your arm and then just move down. Adjust and then go down. And um, whoa, what a what a close shave this is. A brilliant, this is, I only have one razor, I don't feel the need for another razor. I did upgrade my brush a while ago. I went to uh, I went to a brand called Edwin Jagger, which is based here in the UK. Based here in Sheffield, I think. And this is known as a Super Badger. A Super Badger basically just means it's a much higher grade of um, hair from the Badger. I think, I was thinking about this recently, and basically Badger hair is is like a by it's a byproduct of the meat market or industry in China. So I mean, I don't know what to think about that. I mean, there are different, there are natural, uh, so there are um, synthetic alternatives, but you know this works really well. I just take my cream, which you're about to see in a second, put it in here after letting it soak, and just work it into the skin. It also acts as an exfoliant. It built lifts up the hair and um, is a really great investment. These two things are really great investments. So what do I use to, oh yeah, and also the blade that I use is you can see the blades here. So this is known as a Persona Platinum Chrome. And um, I'll take it out for you guys, just so, just in case you don't know what a, so this one just twists off like that. You lift open the cap and the blade comes out. I'll try not to cut myself to pieces. But yeah, this is the blade. Pretty sharp. I mean, it's a pretty sharp blade, really. So, but there are much sharper ones out there. I like this one. I, th I get a good, comfortable shave. So the one that I use, I've used different creams, do use different soaps. Um, I've used the Edwin Jagger soap that's just coming to a, to an end. But I bought this one recently because I wanted something new and I wanted to go back to a cream that I really love. This is from the brand Dr. Harris, British brand, based out of London. And this is known as Arlington, their shaving cream. This is probably the best smelling product I've used when it comes to shaving products. And I did actually do a review on uh, the cologne of this version a long time ago. It's an amazing uplifting smell, full of like neroli and orange. There's some like greenness in there as well, maybe rosemary or fern or something like that. I can't remember, but yeah, really good cream. A little bit goes a long way, and it's it's a wonderful experience in the morning, just inhaling this amazing aroma, getting a really close shave, and it, it's pretty good. Now and again, you know, nobody's going to be perfect. You are going to cut yourself. Maybe you're using a dull blade. Maybe you've been a little bit too aggressive, and you've got a little nick, little cut. This is like a lifesaver. This is forget about you know toilet paper and putting it here and there, and you you'll end up looking pretty foolish, but. This is what you need. This is known as a styptic pencil, made out of aluminium sulfate. So all you do is you just wet the end a little bit. So mine looks a bit weird, but it's basically like that. And um, you just dab it on the place. It will sting uh, for a bit, but it stops the bleeding straight away. And is, is honestly, this is perfect. I, I, I use that now and again. Cutting yourself, it does happen, no matter how long you've been shaving for, it can happen, but very infrequently for me. So, okay, so going on to aftershave balm. Now, there are different things you can use. You can use an alum block, which is like a, an alum, aluminium or al, alu, aluminium sulfate or something. I can't remember the name of the ingredient. It's like a white block, which you can just massage onto the face. I find that quite drying to my skin, so I don't use that. You can use aftershave splashes or witch hazel. Um, 
you know, water, which is good. I think that's pretty good. But I've decided to cut that out of my my routine and just go straight to an aftershave balm. The two balms that I use. This one is again a fairly new product. It's it's more. It's not really. It doesn't say aftershave on it, but again, part of Aveda's botanical kinetics line. This is just known as their hydrating lotion. Uh, this is really good. It's quite light on the skin, amazing aroma. Face feels really supple and quite, quite kind of like a, like a tightness, or like a smoothness, which I quite like. Something a little bit heavier for the winter time. This is one of the best aftershave balms I've used from Burt's Bees. So these guys are kind of more popular for I think lip balms, but they have a men's range. Simply just an aftershave. The thing with this, I think it's been discontinued because I don't see it on their website anymore. I can't find it in the stores where I used to buy it. And online it was running pretty low. So I stocked up on three of these. You know, I think it's, uh, I think it's really excellent. I think Walida, if you guys know the brand Walida, the natural brand, comes in a blue bottle. That's really good too. Also, another shout out to a brand called uh, Bulldog, based here in the UK. I think they might be stocked elsewhere. You can find them in, in most high street stores. That's a pretty good brand, very affordable. Um, not as effective as some of the other stuff I use, but I think worth checking out. So going on to uh, going on to the body now. So let's start off with shower gels. There's nothing really to talk about. I mean, a shower gel is is just for exactly what it is. But um, I use uh, I I, love, I like this brand a lot. This is called Avalon Organics, and I use their refreshing lemon uh, shower gel. Pretty good. Very very natural. Uh, smells great. You know, sulfate free. Um, I think the vast majority of the ingredients are ingredient. Nice uplifting thing to start the day with. Now and again, you know, again, it's a bonus. It's an extra. I don't have to do it. I don't really think it's that essential. Um, it's more like, you know, now and again, if you just feel like it, go with a body scrub. Again, I went with Sukin. You can see here, Australian Natural Skin Care. And this is the Purifying Body Scrub. Sulfate and paraben free. And again, it just works well. It creates a nice smoothness on the body. Um, yeah, you don't have to have it, but now and again. Body lotion is pretty important to me. So again, same brand. Uh, this is their hydrating body lotion. I think, especially in where I live, in London, you do get a lot of, um, a lot of hard water. And so that can cause a bit of dryness on the skin, not too much. I have actually cut down on the temperature of the shower that I use, which I never thought about doing. I mean, I do like a nice hot shower now and again, but it does dry the skin out. And what you can see here down the side is this is something I look for in a lot of products. Not necessarily what's in it, but what's not in it. So all this crap, all this, all this chemical crap that we put onto our skins, it's not good for us. Um, some of it might be okay, but I find the more natural ingredients are just more effective. But you have to pay for it, you know? You pay for what you get. Um, underarm. Now, I don't use an antiperspirant. I use a deodorant. The reason I don't use an antiperspirant is because it's very unnatural to um, prevent sweating, which is used for regulating your temperature of your body. It's used to extract... Um, like toxins out of your body so all these sprays and these um, butane gas sprays or whatever that propane gas sprays and all this other stuff that we use I don't think it's good for the skin um, sweating obviously you know it's a natural thing I don't really have a big problem with sweating so I don't really have an issue so I go with this now this is a brand called Dr. Organic and this is a tea tree deodorant uh, there you go now, if you guys know the brand Holland & Barrett, it's like a health food store in the UK. They also have a few international stores. They often have a deal on this. So, yeah, sometimes you can like buy one, get one half price. Or This is pretty good, and it's really good for reducing uh, odor, which is great in the summertime or, you know, if you're going on holiday, perfect. Um, so I think I'm just, just checking. I think I've covered everything, guys. So the final thing that I, I use, which now and again is, is pretty effective, this is more like a tool. This is just like from Philips, and this is I use for hair that grows around, around um, here, 
or you know just up here so I don't want to shave there but I get very fine hair which I just trim um, I sometimes trim uh, nose hair as well so obviously make sure you keep this clean or in between uses so yeah that's just something I like to use now and again and obviously guys you know um, Oh, one final thing. How could I forget? So you've, you've done all your grooming. You're looking great. You're looking, you're feeling good. You're looking your best. One more thing that you need to apply to the skin. Can you guess what it is? You spray it on. The final thing you do before leaving the house, it's a fragrance. My scent of the day from the house of Cartier. And this is their new fragrance, L'Envol de Cartier. The Eau de Parfum. Comes like this. This is a beautiful fragrance. The first time I tried it in store, I really liked it. It has that kind of sweet honey, hay, floral type of chords with a nice sort of white musky uh, base, uh, or it's in there at least. Really great fragrance. I think it's worth checking out. Not sure it lasts a huge amount of time, but um, there you go. So guys, pretty long video. I don't really do videos this long, but um, I just something I wanted to share with you. Anything here that you're, you are, you are interested in, you've tried, or um, any questions you have, leave a comment down below. Let me know what are some of your products that you like to use, your favorites, what's your routine. Uh, is all of this grooming thing a big waste of money? Do we really need all of this stuff? Whatever your thoughts are, uh, let me know, guys. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like what you saw. Subscribe if you're interested, and um, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.